another special guest right now. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Patrick Walker, the coolest kid in the world. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. You yeah. got a lot of style going on right I now. I appreciate a little sauce. A little, <laughs> little sauce. ATL sauce. sauce. All right, all right. So what you been on all day? All day. I ha I watched a movie today. Oh, really? What movie And I worked out. Fury with Brad Pitt okay. and Shia LaBeouf. That's awesome. Well, I'm yeah. sure Fury was great, but I'm mm -hmm. sure we want to know about you. Yes. And tell everybody what you've been on and everything else, cool. whatever else you want to tell us. So most recently, I was on the show Power. I played a character, Alphonse, on Power two episodes ago. Um, some people say he's a snitch, but um, I say he was um, <laughs> doing his job to get money. And um, I'm on the show The Resident on Fox. So, um, yeah, that's where everything is happening right now. So I saw, I remember your, uh, you was on um, Power. And yeah. I was like, man, you know, your scene was dope. I'm like, we need to bring mm -hmm. him back some more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Is that, is that something that's going to happen I mean, down we'll the see, line? The, the thing is, is that he came in at the end of episode um, nine on season four. And um, he comes from the same neighborhood that Ghost comes from. So audience members who watch the show, they'll immediately be, they'll immediately be able to identify the fact that, like, like there's something unique about this character that we don't even know yet. I don't even know yet, but yeah. I just know backstory to who he is. Okay. That he comes from the same place, and that he's trying to make a transition in the world just like everybody else is and trying to come up. Okay. So we will see what the writers do with it. And they're real secretive about the uh, Very scripts secretive. too, right? Oh like, my gosh! They, I guess what you guys don't get to see it till like the week you, of you or something. Get to, oh my gosh! Listen, <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows anything. Damn. Nobody so even knows Omari anything. don't know. I nothing? think he may know like what's coming. Yeah. Like I think they may know what's coming, but stuff changes so fast on TV. Like yeah. you get a, a green revision, pink revision, yellow revision, like where stuff just changes. Yeah. Like the writer may say, hey, like you, I may be in the first four episodes of a show, mm -hmm. and then they'll go back and change things up, and then he's only in this episode right here, and it's like, yo, what happened? Yeah. But then the whole episode, the whole arc of the show, changed in those writers' rooms. So yeah. you know, things change and they adapt and they update constantly. So yeah, you never know. That's crazy. And it, is that what makes this also exciting is that you don't know. It's so spontaneous. Yeah. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. Yeah. Well, I also want to know, were you the, wait, so you were the one in uh, the episode when you met Ghost at the club, right? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were telling on, uh, what's his name? Lorenz Tate. Lorenz Tate. Yeah. Man, yeah, I can't yeah. stand him on yeah. that show because yeah. he Lying. just... Yeah. He, it just sucked. It just, he's just so conniving to me. Yeah. He is, he is, he is. He's, he's like so that. conniving. He's like he that. Privileged guy that knows he could kind of yeah. use use his status to get a, uh, around stuff, right? But you know he's really a punk outside of that. Right. On the show, that's what he comes off of. Yeah. And it's like Ghost is like a straight G. Yeah, he is. And he's really holding back, and it and it irritates us as fans because we like, man, Ghost could really like. We fuck know what this he can up. do. We know what Ghost can yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cool that Lorenz, it, in real life, that he's the opposite of who that character actually is. Like yeah. such a such a nice guy. Like such yeah. a giving. Like, I've worked with a lot of people. Like, I've mm -hmm. done a lot of projects, and he has to be in the top. Him and Omari have to be in the top of people that actually gave good advice to, like, a young African-American actor coming up. Yeah. Like, just the most, like, advice and everything overall. Mm -hmm. Like, things to avoid, things to look out for. Like, they yeah. go, people might try to do this. These people going to try to do this. Yeah. But just, you know, try to stay the straight and narrow. But, yeah, but yeah man. So I want to know what exactly is your relationship with Lorenz Tate on that show? On the show, he's um he basically like the street um the the drug dealer on the street basically. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. but he's the in the in the they call him the community liaison. So he's a connection between the streets and the government. So he'll sell drugs for Lorenz Tate and then get that money back, you know, from Lorenz as they filter it through whatever they need to pay for, however they need to pay for things. That's why Ghost was so affected when um when um, I said that he skims the money off top of this QCP fund, this mm -hmm. Queen's Child Project, to pay me. So it's mm -hmm. like, where's all that money coming from? Like, I'm ghost giving him all the money, and he giving the money to, to the street boys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. To uh, make stuff happen on the street, so. You said you were uh, recently on something on Fox, right? Yeah, The Resident. Let's, let's talk about that, man. Oh, man. Because we talking about power all the time. <laughs> they get, let's talk about The Resident. Man, man. listen, let me, let, okay. <laughs> so, so The Resident is an amazing show. Mm -hmm. Like, I love Power. Like, Power is my favorite show on television. Mm -hmm. But The Resident is a doctor show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a very um, well-scripted, well-put-together show. And it's Fox, man. So everybody watches it. You know, I get from, like, college kids to, like, you know, you know, uh, Caucasian grandmas. Like, all mm -hmm. kind of people that, like, that watch the show. And, I mean, the views are crazy. I mean, it's Fox. Everybody can see it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, basically, in the beginning of the show... In episode two of the first season, he's a heart transplant patient who needs a new heart on the show. And um, basically what happens is it's just this whole episode about, like, this really great guy, and he's a teacher. We see him, like, I'm, like, teaching a class, and then I have, like, a heart 
like a heart issue in the class. And then at the end of the episode, he gets a new heart. And then they bring him back. Like, when you really good on the show, they'll bring you back. So they brought him back and they made him the love interest of one of the doctors. Mm. So it's like he's dying as time goes by, but like he gets saved mm-hmm. in the in the season finale. Uh, I don't want to ruin it for the world, but he um he gets hurt again. <laughs> so he's about to like, so it's like this, this conflict with the character between him about to die, but like this love of his life that he's now found mm-hmm. who he's trying, who has to do the surgery for him. Mm-hmm. So like you about to die and like the girl who you love is doing the surgery. So it's like, I mean, mm. I make it because they've already been into my heart once. They yeah. go again twice. Like usually it's over with. So like it's just growing from there and the audience is really reacting well to the character. So it makes the writers, like I said before, like keep on writing and keep on adding them in. So yeah. that's making a lot of traction as far as like going into casting rooms here in Los I just moved to LA. Like in February, February 28th, I moved to LA. How's that been? It's new. I'm from. I came from Atlanta. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Great <laughs> Atlanta. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I mean, it's a different. People are different here. It's a different mm-hmm. process, but I'm learning it and adapting, and um, really doing great. I just um, I just booked a movie recently, so I was I'm really excited about that. So it's been hey, beneficial congrats. for you. Yeah, being yeah, out yeah. Here in the yeah. West. It's just cool. always work being done. Mm-hmm. Like I got a movie coming out on IFC, like this. Um, I mean on um the Sci-Fi Channel. The that's horror comedy. That's I. Oh, well, no, that's not IFC. What's that? Uh, IFC is like a like a yeah. like a kind of like extreme. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm. It's my first lead role in a movie with like a with a cool cast. So it's just like just doing work and um on all different channels and just growing and mm-hmm. just trying to do my absolute best that's to be up. the absolute best. You know that's what I'm saying? What's up, man. Yeah, man. So you said this is your first movie with a cool cast. So yeah. has a cast with. All the other things that you have done been complicated sometimes in the future, no, in the past. I mean, but it's been great. But it's as a lead, as a lead character, mm-hmm. you know, like other stuff. It may be like, oh, the character who pops in here, or the character who does this there. But in this movie, it's like he's a part of the core group. It's like a a, a movie about um, like this um these camp counselors who go, and it's funny. It's a horror comedy, so it's funny. But these camp counselors who go and they're learning how to like be counselors before the kids come. And there's a murderer amongst the group, and they have to find out who it is. Mm-hmm. So the guy who, I mean, the audience knows who it is off top because, you know, that's how the movie is introduced. But it was just great to have input. You know, it's always great to be able to say things that people respect what you have to say when breaking down a character that you've been with, that you know, mm-hmm. you know, for the past, you know, like month that we shot it or like, you know. Because you get to know these characters as time goes by and you love them and you become them mm-hmm. in some sense. So so with that cast, it was just fun because it's like my character's cool. And he's fun. So yeah. Yeah, that's that's why I say it's the funnest. You know? So being from Atlanta, mm-hmm. which rap artists are you feeling right now, and what what will people hear in your playlist coming <laughs> from Atlanta? <laughs> that's a left yo, field question, huh? Yo, <laughs> and to be honest, yo, it's this dude that Omar Hardwick just posted on his Instagram. Mm-hmm. He's a singer though. I'm gonna go back to rap, but his name is C.S. Armstrong. This dude is amazing. Like, he ain't got that many followers on Instagram yet, mm-hmm. but I'm like, yo. This dude is a, it's like one of them secret treasures that you don't even know. It's like, oh, Patrick Walker's in here doing an interview right now. In two years, like, like it's stuff cooking right now. In two years, like, boom, he blew up. Like, oh, we had him first. This is my yeah. first interview in LA. Yeah. So it's like, that's how I feel about him. Like, yo, no, like, he's done spots on music, but I'm really excited to see him grow. But I love Drake, man. Drake. I okay. like, and I like Future. I mean, obviously, I like Future, but yeah, like, Future's dope. I love like, Future. Future always put, like, he always got mm-hmm. something, you know, that what you want to hear. Change. You like Two Chains? I love Two Chains. I yeah, like what he has to say. Yeah. He got good lyrics. Every time t- Two Chains is the artist that I'm most excited about mm-hmm. on a song. If it's featuring Two Chains, I want to hear Two Chains. Yeah. You know, even his beats be dope. Man, man. come on. And beat. obviously, like, your T.I. is like, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I love, like, T.I. has to be, like, the most solid rapper to me of all time. Yeah. The most solid, like, not yeah. of all time. I like his uh how he's evolved into what he is yeah. now. Because remember when he started off, he was real like street, like yeah. he wasn't taking no shit. Yeah, dad. And now he's yeah. really on the political side. Yeah. And, you know, standing for the people and all yeah. that. I like that. And he's incorporated that incorporated that into his music. Yeah. So that's dope. Yeah. Yeah. He adapts as time goes too. by. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he, he, I like seeing him being a dad and, sh- and opening up that yeah. side. You know, we didn't know all that because it was all about trap this, trap that. Yeah. And, yeah. And now you know I like that. Yeah. Dope, dope. So I want to know. How do you find it easy to adapt to all these characters that you play? You go from being the thug on power, then you mm-hmm. say the resident, mm-hmm. you're the teacher He's who has really a heart nice problem, and yeah. then you have this sci-fi thing going where yeah. you're like a campus yeah. counselor, yeah. you said? Or? Yeah, like a camp counselor, yeah. Yeah, so how yeah. is that, adapting to all those different that's characters? Good, that's a really good question. That's a super good question. The thing is, I mean, in time, you can adjust to anything, but... I think it's like with anything when you really work it out and, and acting is about like dissecting things and like becoming whatever it actually is that you have to become. So I think in power it's like um 
I know his the energy that they want him to bring. They're very particular on the energy. Even in that one scene, it took a, like they were like, we want him to feel like this. Like he's not afraid. Like he's very like comfortable when he sits in front of ghosts. Yeah. And that's something that the audience has to feel because we that's that that feeling could be something that makes them come him come back. Yeah, because was, why would he be that comfortable with somebody he just met? Exactly. So if they do bring you back, then they could they could write a story right. as to why you were right. that comfortable even yeah. telling them that. Exactly. Yeah, I exactly. see that. Now, exactly. I didn't even notice that until right. you just exactly. said that. Yeah. Exactly. Like, and it, it's, it's with every show, you just adapt to the character. Like, I know people that get caught in these cycles of playing the same characters, you know, and that's, yeah. that could suck. Omari was kind of like that for a minute, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think power kind of helped him because... Yeah. It seemed like every character was like he was like the the good looking gangster. Dude. Yeah, exactly. And I think now this is really showing that you know he, he has a softer side, right. the family part, still right. gangster. Yeah, you know. And I want to ask you this, man: yeah. the suits on power. Uh huh. When you was on set, did they have them like all lined up? Because them suits is yeah, bad. They got man. a whole they got a whole like like warehouse looking joint. Really? It is crazy. Man. My clothes were so nice on that show. Did you have to give them they, back? Yeah, you got to get them back. They having, <laughs> some, they, they having some Jordans. I was like, yo, hold on now. <laughs> These are not, like, they are very particular. Yeah. They have a great wardrobe style, so I can't remember my, my man's name right now. Man. I can't forget. I can't matter. He's doing his a name. good job. He is doing great. He has a very particular eye on, on yeah. every character, like what Tommy wears mm-hmm. to what Ghost wears to what, even when Ghost, like, goes to kill somebody. Hey, where is that little black, um, yeah, that little black yeah, joint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He always in the, he always in the shadows. Mm-hmm. You know, like this right here. And he got He'll the little shoot. running shoes on. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, man. like he got to be comfortable to kill you. Like, yeah. gotta, like when he killed the dude, the um, the uh, the alcoholic, the alcoholic dude. Like when he pulled up on, I was like, dang, Ghost was comfortable to kill him. Yeah. I was like, dude, <laughs> it's the same clothes. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, he, not, dude, he just watched the killing he got clothes. Multiple outfits. <laughs> it's the same thing. Ghost got all right, cool. This is my killing section right here. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna pick. This is gonna be the Wednesday killing outfit right here. It's gonna kill him. <laughs> But, but yeah. <laughs> well, I love all that. Well, I also want to know what can we be expecting next, other than the campus thing, and then. So, the resident season two starts on the twenty fourth of September. I'm really excited about it. So, twenty fourth September, um, the resident and the resident is something that that is is ongoing. So it's like a show that you're a part of. So you don't get to do like there's other shows and I had to turn down which sucks because mm-hmm. like oh yo what you do this show I was like nah yeah. I can't because you know schedule's conflict but The Resident is the most updated thing in the movie I got I'm, I'm starting to do now I don't know when that comes out but that'll come out I'm sure next year sometime and movies run like festival circuits and stuff like that to get more buzz it's a, it's a whole mm-hmm. process but it's some really big things going on right now I'm just waiting I'm like okay this could change my life. I need to know about it. What's happening? I talked to him. You know, let's talk. Nah, shit. It's, it's gonna happen, man. I yeah, can man. definitely see you going to the next level and oh, being yeah. like the star of multiple things. Yeah, man, I'm I excited. can definitely see it, I'm man. I'm excited about it. Tell you people have a lot of potential. Can... Oh, oh, my bad. I was just gonna say you have a lot of potential. I appreciate it. Yeah, my yeah. bad for getting you on, Jay. No, it. no, <laughs> hey, you're doing your thing. Yeah. I appreciate but it. But tell everybody where they can find you on social media before we social get media. out. Social media. My name on Instagram is the Patrick Walker. T H E P A T R I C K Walker, just as it sounds. And I don't really do nothing else. I mean, I got like a Facebook, but you know, this is my mama. Yeah. You know, this is my auntie, like, oh, what's up? He on this show this week. You know, my daddy no flex to the friends and whatnot at work. That's what's But saying. other than that, yeah. Man, well, I want to tell you, thank you for taking time to man, come on The y'all. Fix. Make sure you stay in contact. We definitely want to bring you back in the future, come man. On, man. I'm here. Yeah, you call man. me on a Wednesday. I'm here on a Wednesday. <laughs> hey, I've been holding you to that. Oh, hey, hey could, when you're in that big my movie, name the when you're in that big movie, we got you on camera. We're gonna be like, I'm hey, on, come back. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm glad. This is. You said this is our your first. This interview? is my first in in LA. This is my first interview in Los Angeles. Oh yeah, wow. you gotta bless us in the future. This is my man. first you interview. Like, this is a big deal for me, man. It's a big deal for us. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I told my mom we got the guy from Power coming up. She's like, what? You know, crazy people say like, pitching people take pictures. It's the reaction. Is ridiculous because mm-hmm. people take in public. I mean, the residents like what they be like, like, like just strangers like that. I mean, like unique strangers. I wouldn't expect like no offense to nobody, but Caucasian people like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then take their pictures. I'm like, all right, cool. But the black people like, yo, my nigga. Oh, can I say that? <laughs> yeah. Oh okay, yeah. My nigga was handing dough. You trying to? You the you you the, you the snitch boy. <laughs> like nah, nah. I'm a really good person. I, I mean, I like to cook and stuff like that. I've been working on fish, but nah, you know. But uh, <laughs> but yeah. So, well, you know what? Thank you for coming again. We definitely can't wait to bring you back in the yeah, future. Man. man, that was a dope show today, huh? Man, we had artists on top of artists on top of artists. Yeah. Everybody. 
Yeah, Y'all had Rick Ross in here. Rick Ross. Come on, I we had to, Sherry I, Shepard. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Groncho. What kind of day? We had it? you. You know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> good day. Well, you know what? You guys are listening to The Fix on Dash Talk X. Thank you for downloading the app. This is that extra content that you guys can hear. Your boy, J. Well. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter under I am J. Well. And it's your girl, Codigo Red, on Instagram at Codigo underscore Red. Make sure you follow me right now. How do you spell Codigo? Codigo is C-O-D-I-G-O. Boom. It's people at home like, how you spell Codigo? Yeah. I'm trying to find a shorty. Yeah. How you spell it? Right, man, right. She, Let me she, one more time. She don't know. She the next big star, man. <laughs> I believe it. She don't know. Everybody come in here. They love her, I man. Believe. She uh, is. Yes, <laughs> me. But you know we what? Gonna, we going we gonna run LA together. That's so what's up. That's what's up. But if she take the lead, I'm gonna fall back. You know what I'm hey, saying? You got the chain. Hey. You know you got the chain. That's all it's important. You shining here. <laughs> it's all good. Well, you know what? Thank you everybody for tuning in. Like I said, you'll see us next week. This is the fix on Dash Talk X.